Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Last episode we got the new base put up and now we are at this screen here. I did a couple side missions on my own just to get to this point because I knew something was going to happen. So let's get to it. The next morning. Hmm. Oh wow, another earthquake. Hmm. I guess it settled down. They've been a there've been a lot of earthquakes lately. Hmm. Walls okay, walls okay, my gate's okay, and let's get out. Oh hi, you're up early, Nick. Did you notice the earthquakes earlier? It's hard to get decent sleep when there are so many earthquakes. Hey! Oh, Lombre. What's the matter? We need you at the square. Everyone's gathering there. Is there something wrong? I'm not really sure. Shifter's calling everyone out. He's getting the other rescue teams to come. Nick, let's go! Right, you! Wow, look at all the Pokemon! Looks like they sent out to a lot of rescue teams for help. I've seen some pretty famous leaders from far away places. That's Shiftry. I wonder what he's planning to do with all these rescue teams. Can I get everyone's attention? Yeah? I, uh, it's not my style to get in front of everyone like this, and... Sorry, this isn't the time for that. There's big trouble! Alakazam's team went underground. They haven't returned. Well, what? Is that true? Yes, unfortunately. Alakazam led his team underground to quarrel with Groudon. And that's it. I haven't heard anything from them. To be honest. We have no idea what became of them. No idea? How is that possible? This is Alakazam you're talking about. They haven't come back? That's for real. That's right. And it sounds as if Groudon is out of our league. What? Is that tough? This Pokemon named Groudon? Why don't you go underground and see for yourself? Huh? You've got to be kidding me. There's magma flowing everywhere underground. I'd burn up if I went anywhere like that. Quiet, please. Quiet. Be quiet. There's only two things moving on the screen. Golbat's wings and Apom's tail. There's no denying that it is dangerous on the ground. It's not a place where just anyone can go. That's why I asked so many rescue teams to gather today. I propose that a special team be formed by choosing the best of the best. Who will step forward? Who among us will be the heroes to take on the challenges of underground? Say, Nick, this is an opportun great opportunity. Let's go! Don't bother you guys. What's with you? Can you step aside? You guys have gotten a lot tougher, that's for sure, but there's plenty of tougher Pokemon out there. Dick? Will no one step forward? I'll go. Blastoise! I'm B Blastoise. You mean Team Hydra's Roughneck Blastoise? Those water spouts on my on his back can rocket water so fast that it punches through solid or through thick iron plates. It's rumored Groudon is a ground type and fire. I am a water type, strong against the ground type. My hydro pump can put Groudon down in one shot. I'll join the party too. Woohoo! Octillery! It's Team Constrictor's leader. She's known for persistence and clinging attacks. Ha! <laughs> She's clingy. Ha! <laughs> she ensnares enemies with her tentacles, then headbutts them. She, she'd she be nasty to face in any battle of endurance. Darlings, when I see a tough Pokemon, I must entangle with them. Say, 
How about not forgetting about me? Wow! Golem! Team Rumble Rock. His body is rock hard. He's <laughs> rock hard. He's supposed to be able to withstand huge explosions without taking damage. If Groudon's awakened underground, that suits me fine. I'm used to. I'll use my rock throw to keep it buried underground. Oh, Blastoise, Octillery, and Golem. No one can complain about your selection. We will have these three rescuers head underground. Yeah, good choice. You're representing us. Make us proud. Let's go. Win it for us! Save Alakazam's team. Alakazam? Alakazam's team. See? They look pretty tough, eh? Let, let them handle things. Hmm. It can't be helped, Nick. <sighs> I wish we could have gone too, but there's nothing we can do about it. About that. Blast Swiss team can take care of things underground. We'll keep doing the best we can in our rescue work. Wait, what? We have to go back to rescue? Ah, oh, darn it. Well, at least we got through a main story part. Oh, whatever. Sorry. Let's see... nothing. Okay. Let's see if we can sell anything. Go for some and disguise. The fact that you're in misery. I like that song. Ah. Uh, there's some items I want to get rid of and take care of. Two. Okay. These two. Uh, I only need two apples. That's pretty much it. Welcome, this is the Felicity Bank. Okay. Yeah, I actually got a lot more money too, so. 940. Oh. I do that all this time. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. I guess we're just doing this. Bad comment. Hmm. Let's go to Mount Blaze. We'll just do this one and then we'll be done for the episode. So basically get more story in and do a lot more rescues. And as stated last time, I'll continue some of the... I'll do a bunch of rescue missions at once, get them out of the way, and get back to the main story. Get to get. Oh yeah. Mount Blaze, first floor. I really wish we could move that map. Or make it smaller. It's just in the way. Ah shoot. Lot. <laughs> Let's go here. Get him, bud. No. Oh. Oh. Ha. And as y'all can tell, I did level up once or twice on the off screen stuff. Oh. Money. Level up. Bud level up. 26. So he's still two levels up above me. All money. What's that? I'll take that too. I usually sell the bands, they don't really help me at all. It boosts just a little bit, it doesn't boost a whole lot. Let's just see what we can do this episode, then, like I said, I'll just continue on my own, see where I can get to until the next story part. 
You know, you do one mystery dungeon mission, you can do two of them all, basically. Oh, money. Money. Give me that money! Alright. Next floor? I want to step in the fire. I hate the gravels. So worthless. Maybe. I hate. I don't even use torment. I don't use any of the support stuff. I just use attacks. Upstairs. Out of there. Mine. Mine now. And that doesn't lead anywhere. Ow. Eat this. Oh. Eat this. You can level up quite a bit in these areas. Let's see. I'll take that. Ow! Bitch. Ow. Frustration. Mine, mine, mine. It did cost 3000 if you sell it. That's why I've sold every single one I bought. Or got it. Never bought it. That was stupid. Let's buy it and sell it. For less. Ooh. Money, 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 money. Money! Poor coal. <sighs> they should have an ultra effective. It's on like a fire ground and they face off against a, a water type. This should be ultra effective, meaning instant kill. Eh, it's, a, it's a thought, but then it make it. Too easy to go into certain areas, certain places. Destination floor. Let's see if we can find this person. Get out! Oh crap! He's on fire! Okay. You don't need a pressure berry? <laughs> Dust Talks was on fire. Do 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 do. Yay. Thank you for rescuing me. Rescuing me. <laughs> Royal Gummy. 40 points. Oh, yeah, we also did rank up as a squad to uh, silver. So. We didn't get anything for it. See where this goes. Alright. That's another episode, guys. We found out that Alakazam's not back yet, obviously. We've been told in the past couple episodes he hasn't come back yet. So, next episode, we will continue with the story. So, I'll see y'all guys next time. Peace out.